von der Leyen asszony. Ms. von der Leyen, this was the, um, the epitome of hypocrisy, and it's not worthy of the Commission. Prime Minister, I am very happy that I can speak here to you on behalf of the uh, Patriots for Europe Group, the third biggest in the European Parliament. It's a historic moment, and you can see it irritates Mr. Weber. We formed our party based on uh, a desire from voters to see change. And we need to have a common sense based policy. This is what is needed in Europe right now. Prime Minister, Europe is in a worse situation than at any point in the last few decades. And the President of the Commission campaigned against the government rather than talking about these issues. The fact that peace is at risk, the fact that we need to stop illegal migration and European uh, competitiveness is on the decline. Therefore, we welcome the new European competitiveness deal proposed by the Hungarian Presidency because European prosperity is at risk. We welcome the proposal for the Schengen summits as well, which would allow for which would allow free movement within the Schengen area. And this is one this is what Brussels is actually destroying one of these this cornerstones of the EU. And we we welcome all initiatives which uh, leads to a stop of bloodshed in Ukraine. It leads to ceasefire, communication, and peace. We, we reject all lies used to attack Hungary and our Hungarian Prime Minister. Rather than a hate campaign, we need to focus on European prosperity and peace. With the Cordon Sanitaire in this Parliament, this Parliament has acted against the Patriots for Europe, but we Patriots are proud that uh, our Prime Minister is realistic about the situation. He says what the problems are in Europe and also makes specific proposals. Prime Minister, you can count on the Patriots for Europe group. You can, and Europe and voters can rely on us across Europe. Thank you. I give the floor now to Nicola Procaccini, co-chair of the ECR group.